dude, you need a unicycle. You need a unicycle so you can keep your hands free. Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is the Gotway MCM5 V2, the most compelling PV for around a thousand euro, of course, including VAT. So let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. Right away, also huge thanks to myewheel.com for providing me this electric unicycle for testing purposes. If you want to get a electric unicycle from them, which I highly recommend, just type in the code WRONGWAY at checkout and you'll receive 5% off your purchase. And I also do receive a small kickback from that, so you also support the channel in this form. Now, there is already a Gotway MCM5 review on my channel, but this is the V2 version. And very much like the Tesla V2 by Gotway, it has a lot of improvements and for this price point and i still rest my case today i think this is like the best rideable you can get for around a thousand euros so let me explain why The Galway MCM5 has really good specs and riding characteristics. So now with a slightly upgraded motor, you can go up to 45 kilometers an hour, even 47 via EOC World. It accelerates like crazy with the 1500 watt motor. It can climb up to 35 degree inclines and the 800 watt hour battery will get you around 35 40 kilometers with uh, a 75 kilogram heavy rider but for sure a lot more if you would uh, ride slower i think in the neighborhoods of 50 to 60 kilometers okay so now i'm at my usual 30 degree hill climb location I'd say it's pretty good on sand as well No problems at all. Okay, now it's time for my usual 35 degree hill climb, so I have just 30% battery, but I think we'll be fine. I might have just a bit too much air in the wheel, so I'll just drop it. Significantly decrease the air pressure, so I don't know if I get back home, but at least I can do the 35er. Okay, nice. It made it. At the end, it was beeping already. I know that with the MCM V1, I didn't have that, but I might have just had a bit more battery, like more charge. So 
I might just go back and test it once again with a bigger charge but the thing is that if I go with the MCM in a city usually I just don't have enough battery all over the place so you know not the best commuter for me because I just ride too much but if you don't do as many kilometers you should be good, good to go it's a 14 inch unicycle but the tire is a upgraded 2.5 inch uh, wide tire so it provides a lot more ground clearance than the v1 version of the mcm5 and also more grip more stability and at cornering and it's also better for heavier riders big difference man So let me show you what are the upgrades of the MCM5 and what are the features of this wheel. So uh, when it comes to good stuff, there is the usual front panel of Gotways. There's a four pin connector here, GX16-4 for the charging. Charging is around, I think, seven to eight hours with the standard charger, but naturally you can equip it with a faster charger thing or anything around four hours will be fine. And there's also a USB charge port which you can use for you know charging the phone. Um, there's uh, the button to turn it on and off. And Gotway, please fix this. Just don't let these LEDs cycle through when you turn on and off the light because it's just annoying. It's in every Gotway unicycle. And I think it just, yeah, if you have one RGB preset, you just keep it. You don't want to change it every time you switch on and off the light. Moving on to the RGB panel, there are several settings of it and it actually runs all the way across the wheel and in, in this setting it also shows you the battery percentage in like dots so maximum is having seven dots or eight dots and then you can uh, approximately assess uh, the battery uh, you have left in the EUC it's rather pra practical I wouldn't say it's the most accurate but it's good it's here it's very very similar to the M M103 in this regard and actually oh it's it's a bit dusty you know uh, a mug guard would help a bit but the panel runs all the way across the wheel and if you were actually to break uh, let, let me see if, if I can show it maybe I can show it on video but um, the rear panel lights up just red as a you know <laughs> light signals it's not as good to see as like a regular rear brake light slash tail light uh, but uh, nevertheless it's good it's here it's still better than on, on the Gotway Tesla V2. The foot plates are of a nice size I mean it's not the Nikola size but it's still pretty good only issue with them is they just fall out really easily so usually if I just you know turn it a bit too much they open up and if I want to you know close them they you have to really you know commit to, to close them. It's e really easy to open them up either like this <laughs> or like so. Uh, as you have seen already, I'm trolling the thing around. It has a trolley handle and the height is also pretty nice for all riders. The only issue is that if you just, yeah, if you put any weight on the trolley handle, it will go down. So this is also a thing that they would, oh yeah, by the way, they would need to fix in a version three of the Gotway MCM5. There's also a pretty nifty located um, no, handle, so you can 
just grab the wheel and there's a lift sensor so you can pick it up and the wheel doesn't spin around because if there was no lift sensor this would happen and sadly i don't know why the 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 handle is just on one side so yeah if you're left-handed basically you have to still pick it up with your right hand and this is a bit of an issue like if you want to climb somewhere or go off-road you can just grab it with your right hand uh, which is not too good i guess i think galway should just you know uh, embrace their mistakes and just put a hole here on the same side on, on this side and also i have some a nice set of side pads and the, they work just fine for me uh, without them it, the wheel is pretty slippery and the grip tape here actually on the pedals forgot to tell you is not too good probably you need some gr vicious grip tape for that and there was a gotway logo here but i removed it because it was just peeling off there's a bit of a like foam here but this thing still sticks out and can be a bit of a pain but it's not too bad actually not too bad the front headlight unit is well okay i guess for for this type of unicycle it's it, it doesn't feel like enough for nighttime riding but it's it's there it's definitely better than on a scooter for the same price point and yeah sadly this unit doesn't come with a speaker uh if you were to buy a mcm5 somewhere you just need to ask like is there a speaker inside or not uh, on the mcm5 v2 because apparently they, they, there can be a lack of a speaker i really wish there was a speaker inside this unit but sadly there isn't but still it has the new foot plates it has the uh, bigger tire i mean the tire the tire honestly was the thing that kept me from recommending this electric unicycle over a for example a motion v8 uh, because you know you were just scratching the front unit here and actually the bottom quite a bit and the foot plates all the time on the old uh, mcm5 whilst on the mcm5 v2 there are like no issues at all with that you can easily go up curbs you can even go downstairs on it but remember to uh, just keep your for going downstairs you need a high, higher pressure and i actually went downstairs quite a lot on this euc and honestly the the rim looks like new there are no issues at all with it and the tire is really grippy i really like it it's pretty good for off-road and because it's just so light and nimble it just weighs 17 kilograms it's just super easy to commute with it so <laughs> commuting is really easy but you always also like there feel the bigger bumps a bit more just because the tire the tire diameter is smaller but because the wheel is light it's still quite comfortable um, I also took this thing uh, off-road and actually it behaves there extraordinarily well. I mean, it's not as powerful as a, you know, Gotway Nikola or a Tesla, uh, but it's really easy to maneuver it and it just responds so quickly onto acceleration and deceleration and you can just, you know, turn on a dime. It's probably like the best wheel for tricks out there because the M10 3 is like good for maneuvering, maneuvering, but not really for, you know, stairs and that stuff. And the uh, MCM5 is definitely. So I think that a wheel like this would be a way, way superior choice over a scooter at the same price point. And by the way, if, we, if you would like to see a video comparison uh, to the Gotway MCM5, like a scooter at the same price point, just hit the like button below and if we get the video to 300 likes maybe 300 likes uh by the end of the week then i'll figure out maybe a 09 or some other similar scooter at this price point to make the video comparison when it comes to just the driving experience riding experience it's you know really responsive it accelerates insanely fast uh, the two and a half inch tire is also pretty cool for riding it's definitely a different feeling like on the uh, three inch wide tires like the nicola or the msp 16x and so on but it's still very enjoyable and the good thing is that if you have any you know longitudinal unevennesses or i know if that's even a word but it will just go straight, uh, no matter the terrain, unless you want it to turn, of course. So from this standpoint, currently, I can just highly recommend the Gotway MCM5. I think it's a great choice 
for a beginner wheel or if you need like a smaller wheel to just get to from point A to point B. For me, it's just not enough battery. I was just, you know, running out of battery all the time because I just ride really a lot in Warsaw. So I was just taking the charger all the time with me, but uh, usually it, uh, it just didn't charge enough, fast enough to, to make the range significantly better. Uh, but yeah, that's just what it is. That's how this uh, electric unicycle is designed. If I need more range, then I just need a bigger, bigger USC. Um, last but not least, maybe I will also um, reiterate what I was saying, what is still um, left to do on the uh, MCM5 to make it, you know, perfect, a perfect machine. First of all, I would make the trolley handle not go down if you just, you know, are carrying the or trolling the wheel around. I would make the hole for the carrying handle from both sides, so it's just not from one side. I would add an additional or higher brightness LED on the rear to make it more visible when you brake. Um, definitely the speaker to all MCM5. Uh, I would make the magnets stronger uh, for the foot plates so they just don't pop off randomly. I would include a faster charger, like no, two and a half, three amps, uh, to make it on par with other new unicycles that come out on the market. I think then maybe a bit more powerful front light. This will be like, you know, the perfect one, but already now it is highly recommendable. And if you would buy a MCM5 V2, I think you'd be really happy with it. So if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, one more thing I really like about the MCM5 is the shell. So it's really strong actually and robust. And here is a you know, safety story for you. Like here, there is a light that is you know, it divided by two. And I was going, for example, from this direction. It's, it's not this intersection, it's a different one, but just to show you an example, I was going there and the light started flashing. So I thought, okay, I'll just go a bit faster just to make it through the intersection. And I was basically going like 40 and then I realized that, you know, the other half of the intersection was already red and the cars were already roaming at 70 on the intersection or 50, I don't know. So I had like five meters to do something to, to break to zero because otherwise I would be run over basically because there was like no time or the cars wouldn't break fast enough on the intersection. Uh, so I was just braking really hard. I saw that I can't do it and I basically ran with the EUC straight into a lamppost. So basically I was just braking, braking, braking and boom. This was like the, uh, it, it was a pretty hard impact on the EUC. Like nothing happened to me. I, I did brake in time. Uh, I didn't go on the street, whatever. And, um, and basically there's no scratch on the MCM5. So this also says that it's a pretty good shell. And yeah, two things I learned from, from this situation. Number one, always be cautious. Like uh, sometimes it's not worth it to go across the intersection and, it's, and cars, you know, they're just so dangerous. They kill people. You have to watch out for that. Number two, um, intersections can be divided into two parts. So if you just barely can buy on the blinking right, light on the first half, you know, on the second half, the cars might, might already be riding there. So you need to keep that in mind. And number three, if you can't brake fast enough on a EUC, just go straight into a lamppost and brake and nothing will happen to you, hopefully. So yeah, with that small lesson, um, you know, everyone makes mistakes. I think it's important to share the experience or knowledge you learn from them. If never, nothing happened, it's good. Um, so. Once again, maybe. If you're still here, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See ya!